Hi, and welcome to Starry Time. I'm Miss Amelia, and tonight our theme is once again going to be all about dinosaurs. If you're watching this on Tuesday, the night the movie gets released, or the story time gets released, then it's still the last, uh, it's still November. But if you're watching this later in the week, it's already December. But don't worry, because we love dinosaurs no matter what month it is, right? Right, that's what I thought. So let's go ahead and get started and we can sing our hello song. So we'll go ahead and just sing through it once this time. It goes, I say hello and you say hello and we say hello together. I say hello and you say hello in warm or wintry weather. You guys, that was really good. You totally know that song now, don't you? Awesome. All right, let's get started with our first story. It's called Deanie Dinosaur. Ah, <sighs> awesome, by Karen Beaumont. Ooh, got a couple pages, here we go. On a warm, sunny day in a prehistoric land, a dinosaur played in the mud and the sand. He filled up his bucket, then he dumped it on his head. Oh my goodness, Deanie, you're a mess, his mama said. Oh, you're going to need to take a bath before you go to bed. Has that ever happened to you guys? <laughs> Dirty Deanie dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his feet with the scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Silly Deany dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your shoes off. Ah, oh, back you go. Bloop, she puts them right back in the tub. So, dirty Deany dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his legs with a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Silly Deany dinosaur, don't you know, you have to take your pants off. Back you go. <laughs> so, <gasps> dirty Deany dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his tummy with a scrub-a-dub-dub. Silly Deany dinosaur, don't you know, you have to take your shirt off. Back you go. So, dirty Deany dinosaur splashed in the tub. He tried to wash his head with a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. <gasps> Silly Deany dinosaur, don't you know? You have to take your hat off. Back you go. Silly Deany dinosaur. Finally, Mama Dinosaur checked him head to toe. She looked him up and down and all around. <gasps> oh no! You didn't wash behind your horns. You didn't scrub your back. There's soap still on your scales. Ooh, and your toenails are all black. <clears throat> Said Mama, don't you wiggle. All the suds will overflow. And little Deany giggled because it tickled him so. Mama read him stories. Then she sang him lullabies. Soon little Deany dinosaur was closing his eyes. I love you, my sweet Deany, and I always will, she said. And then she hugged and kissed him, and she tucked him into bed. Good night, my little dinosaur, said Mama with a sigh. And soon they both were deep asleep. <sighs> Beneath a starry sky. The end. That was a pretty good one, right? Sleeping beneath a starry sky. It's just our type of thing. All right. I have a fun little flannel 
And we're gonna go ahead and do some counting because that's one of my favorite things to do besides dinosaurs. And it's super awesome and it goes like this because it's, how many dinosaurs are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. You guys got it, good job. So we go, five dinosaurs. So it was five enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. Let me hear you roar. Roar! One went away. Loop. I'll go here, here. And then there were, let's count, right? One, two, three, four. And then there were four. We've got four enormous dinosaurs munching on a tree. Can you guys munch? Nom, 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 nom. Well, one went away because he didn't eat trees. And then there were, how many are left? One, two, three. You got it, good job guys. There are three enormous dinosaurs and they didn't know what to do. So one went away, do, 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 do. And then there were, you guys know how many there are, right? Two, let's look. One, two, good job. So there's two enormous dinosaurs having lots of fun. But one went away. And then there was one. Oh my gosh. Well, it's one enormous dinosaur. And he's afraid to be a hero. So she went away. Do, 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 do. And then there were zero. You guys, you did a good job with your counting tonight. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and move this away. All right, so we have another dinosaur story, but this one's a little different because if you guys get a chance, you can kind of act out some of this story. So it goes, it's called, I am a Tyrannosaurus by Anna Grossnickel Hines. And you can see there's a picture of a little boy and he's gonna act out all the dinosaurs. So. Go ahead and get your dinosaur going here. Ah, can't open the book. There we go. I have a gigantic head with long pointy teeth. And I have a great loud roar. I am a huge, ferocious hunter. Can you guess who I am? I am a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rawr. Good job, you guys. Okay, what's next? I'm not so big and I have a stiff tail. That means the tail doesn't really move. And I have little wings. See, he's doing little wings. I run fast and I leap, leap, leap. I am you guys know? This one's a little harder. A velociraptor! Look at how cool that is. And his tail and his little wings. Yeah. Okay, I clomp, clomp along because I am so big with a long tail. My neck, look, his neck goes up. It reaches way, way up to eat the leaves. I am, what do you guys think? A Brachiosaurus! Look, really long tail, really long neck. Good job. Okay, I have a big collar. I have this big thing around my neck. And I have three horns on my face. Boop, boop, boop. I look mean. But I eat only plants. I am, what's your guess? If you said Triceratops, you're right. Right, see there's the big collar and his one, two, three horns. Pretty cool. All right, my pointy head has a crest on top. It's like a little thing like this on her head. And it says, and a beak at the bottom. Hmm, 
I fly and I swoop to scoop up fish. I am, this one's harder, do you have a guess? <gasps> a pteranodon! Look, there's his pointy head, and there's his crest, and his beak, pretty cool. I am curled up, tap, 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 inside a shell. That's a good hint. Peck, 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 push and stretch, crack. I am, let's see, let's see, a brand new baby dinosaur. That's awesome, look, tiny baby in the egg. My mother watches over me and brings me food to eat. Her name is, it's a special type of dinosaur. Do you guys know this one? It's called Myasaura. Mommy dinosaur, baby dinosaur, these are Myasaura. And that means good mother lizard. That's true, that's really what Myasaura means. Pretty cool. <laughs> the end. There were a lot of cool dinosaurs we talked about, and they have some pictures here, right? So the first one was Tyrannosaurus, and then we talked about the Velociraptor. See how tiny it is compared to a Brachiosaurus? And there was also a Pteranodon, it's the winged dinosaur there, and a Triceratops, and at the very end, the Myasaura. That's pretty cool. You guys learned a lot about dinosaurs, I hope. Okay, I wanted to sing this dinosaur song again because I loved it so much the first time we read it. And like I said the first time, songs that go with uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star are kind of our thing here on Starry Time. So we're gonna sing I Like Dinosaurs again, but it goes to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we can go ahead and sing this one twice, okay? <clears throat> so it goes, I like dinosaurs so much, I wish they still lived with us. Some were big and some were tall, some were fierce, but not them all. I love dinosaurs so much, I wish they still lived with us. Guys, good job! Let's sing it one more time, just so we can get some more practice. Okay, <clears throat> and don't forget, some were big and some were, I think I said tall, but really it's big and small. Oh, that's silly, we definitely have to sing it again. And then fierce, but not them all, right? Okay, so it goes, I like dinosaurs so much, I wish they still lived with us. Some were big and some were small, and some were fierce, but not them all. I like dinosaurs so much, I wish they still lived with us. <laughs> Good job, you guys. All right, I got one more dinosaur song before we have to sing our goodbye song. This one's really funny, it's called Duck Oh, see, duck, duck, dinosaur, and the noise at night. Let's see if we can figure out what this mystery is all about. Oh, and it's by Callie George, illustrated by Oriole Vidal. Mama Duck's family was growing up fast. Flap was getting big, Feather was getting big, and Spike was getting bigger. Wow, Spike is really big. They were too big to sleep with Mama Duck. It was time for them to sleep all by themselves in their very own nest. Look, right there. They were excited and only a little scared. We're ready, said Feather. We can do it. All right. Feather, Flap, and Spike shared a story. They shared a snuggle and then they fell asleep. <laughs> they all woke up at once. I heard a noise, a scary noise, said Flap. I heard it too, said Feather. But 
But what can we do? We can't just hide. Hide. Yep. Spike hid. He thought that was a good idea. So Feather and Flap hid too. They shared a story and they shared a snuggle and they sang a song and then at last they fell asleep. <sighs> Roar! <gasps> they all woke up at once. I heard that noise, that scary noise, said Flap. I heard it too, said Feather. Hiding didn't work, but what else can we do? We can't just run away. Run away! Spike ran away. <laughs> so Feather and Flap ran away too. They ran and ran all the way around the pond. Ugh. They ran until they were too tired to take another step. They look really tired. They shared a story. They shared a snuggle. They sang a song and they counted the stars. And then at last, they fell asleep. So nice. Roar! They all woke up at once. I heard that scary noise, said Flap. I heard it too, Feather trembled. Hiding didn't work. Running away didn't work. There's nothing we can do. It was late and they were scared. Feather's knees knocked, flapped, Flap's wings flapped, and Spike's teeth chattered. See, knocking knees, flapping flaps, chattering teeth. Everyone was being so noisy. That's it. We can be really noisy, said Feather. We can scare the scary noise. Ha ha! What do you think she's got in her hands there? It's like drumsticks to me. Feather and Flap made all kinds of noises. Crash, boom, bang. But Spike made only one. He looks pretty tired. <gasps> Grrr! <gasps> you guys! The grrrr was a snore. It was Spike the whole time. Flap laughed. Feather laughed. They would tell Spike in the morning. Feather and Flap didn't share a story or a snuggle or sing a song or count the stars. They didn't need to. They fell straight to sleep. Oh, they look really tired. And they slept in their very own nest all night long. <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's my favorite. It was just Spike snoring the whole time. That's hilarious. All right. So we've read some books, we've sang some songs, we've counted some dinosaurs. We didn't count stores or stars, but we did count dinosaurs. And now we'll sing our last song and it'll be time to go to bed. You guys ready for some Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? All right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Sweet dreams. Have a good night.